So hello everyone, today is going to be a big video. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be what I picked up from my Blu-ray hunting with Film Flick and my cousin Ash, Ash Ward. Both links will be in the descriptions. I just want to say a massive thank you to both of them for coming. Ash, you know how amazing you are already. Uh, Josh, wow, um, you are one of the nicest people I've ever met, mate. Thank you so much for coming today. I had an absolute blast. Um, you tried to deter me from spending a lot of money. I didn't listen. Maybe I should have. Um, but nonetheless, thank you so much for coming, mate. I had such a blast. Also, a quick thank you to all of you. Because this morning, whilst I was on my way to Blu-ray hunting, I hit 200 subscribers. Now, uh, I will quickly apologise. There will be no competition. Um... And I apologise for that. Um, but I don't think that 200 is a milestone that I feel like I need, that I want to do a competition at. The milestone that I'll do a competition at is, and if I ever do hit it, 500 subscribers, I'll do it at the halfway point. So 500, 1,000, 1,500, and so on and so forth. If I ever hit 1,000, which I don't think I will. Um, but yeah. Um, I picked up uh, 39 blu-rays and 4ks uh a hell of a lot of 4ks and iconic moments but josh uh, film flick did give me two things he gave me the remake for total recall on blu-ray which i'm really happy with so thank you very much for that mate uh, it's a two disc directed uh, director's cut extended cut thing and he gave me season one of agents of shield which i forgot to pick up the other four seasons so yeah well done me but in hindsight i'm glad i didn't I then picked up um, two of the HMV exclusive VHS Blu-rays for Aeroplane and 48 Hours. Uh, I'll just show you the inside because they're inside they are exactly the same. The inside you do get... You get a poster... which I will be putting these posters up. There's the 48 hours one. The aeroplane one is exactly the same as the front cover for aeroplane, which is that. So you get that, you get a poster. You then get two discs. You get the Blu-ray and the DVD. And then there's uh, like moments from the film that they've incorporated, that you get a trading card. And you also get a sticker. So these are really, really nice additions, and I'd highly recommend picking them up because they are very nice and not at all expensive. These were both in the two for 13. So I got these for £6.50 each, which to me is an absolute steal. So the two VHS uh, Hi-Fi HMV exclusive Blu-rays that I got were 48 hours in aeroplane. Now I will go into the Blu-rays and then I will go into the iconic moments, which just had the standard Blu-rays in them. So you've all seen the standard Blu-rays before, but I will just show you the slip covers and uh, what the quotes say. So the first couple of normal Blu-rays that I picked up, I picked up all the money in the world, which I thought I had today and didn't. Just a little joke there for you. Um, but this was about £3, which I thought was a wonderful deal. Uh, I wanted this one for a long time. Shame it didn't come with a slip cover, but for £3, I'm not arguing. Uh, it's about, I believe, someone that gets kidnapped. Uh, I believe it's the old man there, Christopher Plummer. And uh, Michelle Williams goes to her lawyer, Mark Wahlberg, and they have to come up with ransom money to bring him back. So yeah, very, very excited to watch this and that is all the money in the world. Next up is a movie that people have been banging on me to get about, um, quote unquote, the best action movie of all time and I am ashamed to say I've never seen it and that is Terminator 2. Uh, really, really looking forward to this. I'm really ashamed that I've not seen it before but it obviously does star the wonderful Arnold Schwarzenegger and of course a young... I've forgotten his name. Uh, 
completely gone out of my head, but Terminator 2, really, really happy to pick it up. Didn't want to get the 4K because apparently they've turned it blue, which I don't want a blue 4K to be completely honest. And the final normal Blu-ray is another HMV exclusive, uh, with the HMV exclusive slip cover. Again, film I've never seen before, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And it just comes with a normal slip cover and it's the same artwork. Really, really happy to pick it up. Really looking forward to watching it. Now, sorry I'm going so quick, guys, but I don't want this video to be nine hours long. Um, but now we move on to the iconic moments that were all in the 2 for 13. I've got one from different years. The first one that I picked up from 1960 is Spartacus, the Stanley Kubrick movie. This quote says, we decide our fate. It stars Michael Douglas and it runs for three hours and 16 minutes. So I'm really, really looking forward to watching this. That is Spartacus. Next up, uh, starring Mr. Paul Newman from 1967, Cool Hand Luke. The quote on this one says, you crazy handful of nothing. Uh, really looking forward to this. Never seen a Paul Newman uh, film before, so I'm really looking forward to it. Next up, we have a Steve, Mc Steve McQueen movie, Bullet. The quote on this one says, your work, uh, you work your side of the street and I'll work mine. Really, really looking forward to watching Bullet for the first time. Next up is one of the main things that I went in HMV for. And saw the Blu-ray, pulled it down, behind it was sitting there, the iconic moments where one flew over the cuckoo's nest, a Jack Nicholson classic, a winner of uh, five Academy Awards, including the 1975 Best Picture. This one says, which one of you nuts has got any guts? Really, really, really looking forward to watching this. Probably one of the first things I'll watch. It's going to take me a while to watch all of this because... I'd say 90% of the stuff here I've never seen before. Next up is one I didn't even know had an Iconic Moments. And it must be one of the new brand new, new Iconic Moments. I could have got this in the Arrow sale for £8. Um, but this was on the Super 13 for £6.50. And that's American Werewolf in London. Really, really looking forward to this. I've heard the transformation scenes in this movie are, are incredible for 1981. And this quote says, Excuse me, but what's that star on the wall for? That's 1981's American Werewolf in London. Next up, we have a 1985 classic movie, one of the newer iconic moments. This one says, eat my shorts as the uh, quote, The Breakfast Club. Never seen it before, really ashamed to say that, but that is The Breakfast Club. I'm so excited with all the pickups that I got. This one, this next iconic moment, I saw a film flip pick this up the other day, so, I wanted to see the film as well. It stars Tim Robin and Morgan Freeman. It is the absolute classic, The Shawshank Redemption from 1994. This quote says, Hope is a good thing, maybe the best of things, and no good thing ever dies. That is 1994's The Shawshank Redemption. Iconic moment. I think there's about 15 iconic moments here in total. The main iconic moment I went in here for, and really over the moon that I found it, is 1995's classic movie starring Mr. Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. Seven has my favourite uh, movie quote of all time in it. What's in the box? There it is with the box. Uh, and this is about the seven uh, deadly sins, I want to say, which are on the front of the cover, which I'll just read you out now, which is gluttony, greed. Sorry, I don't know if you can see that. Gluttony, greed, sloth, envy, wrath, pride and lust. That is 1995's Seven. Again, from 1995, a space movie classic starring an astounding cast. Uh, this quote just simply says one of the best and most iconic movie quotes of all time. Houston, we have a problem. Apollo 13 starring Tom Hanks, Kevin Bacon, Bill Paxton, Gary Sinise and Ed Harris. An absolute classic space movie that I had to get, and that is the iconic moments for it. There was a couple of iconic moments I couldn't find, which I was annoyed about, like Green Mile, uh, Darkest Hour, and American Pie. Next up is a Steven Spielberg movie from 2001. The year I was born, had to pick this up. It's a sci-fi movie that I've never seen, and a Spielberg movie that I've never seen. And it's AI, Artificial Intelligence. 
the quote for this one says, Please make me a real boy. Starring uh, Haley Joel Osment and Jude Law. So that is AI, Artificial Intelligence. Next up, we move to 2006, which is a movie by one of my favourite, if not my favourite director of all time, is Christopher Nolan. And it is his 2006 movie, The Prestige, uh, starring Hugh Jackman, Christian Bell, Michael Caine and Scarlett Johansson. Oh, Scarlett Johansson, yes please. Um, the quote for this one says, are you watching closely? Really, really love this slip as well. That's a great iconic moment. Next up is a Ben Affleck film from 2010, which is probably his uh, my most favourite film that he's directed himself. Uh, and this quote simply says, you still have to pay the price for the things you've done. The Town, uh, one of the best heist movies I've ever seen. So that's the iconic moments of 2010, Ben Affleck. It's The Town. Next up, we have another Ben Affleck movie from 2012. And the quote simply says, this is the best bad idea we have. 2012's Argo, or as I like to call it, Argo Fuck Yourself. Um, really looking forward to watching this. I did have the big box set edition before the big classified edition and sold it because I got a very good price for it. But happy to, really happy to pick up the iconic moments for Argo. And the last iconic moment is from 2016. One of the, again, the newest iconic moments starring Amy Adams, Jeremy Renner and Forrest Whitaker. Arrival. I'm really, really happy to pick this up. The quote for this says, There are days that define your story beyond your life. That is 2016's Arrival. So those are all the iconic moments that I picked up. Next, we have the 4Ks, which there are about 20 4Ks. There are one, uh, there is one 4K that I will be not unboxing that I will be doing a separate video for, which I'll be doing after this. Um, there is one that they left to the tag in for, the red tag, which really annoyed me. But nonetheless, I'll stop rambling and show you the 4Ks that I picked up. Uh, the first 4K that I picked up was one of the main 4Ks that I went in HMV for. 1917. I heard this is reference quality. Um, I have seen this one before. I absolutely loved it. Sam Mendes, obviously based on the First World War. You had the 4K disc there. And then you had the Blu-ray disc. The first 4K that I picked up is 1917. Next 4K is another war movie. This one includes a bonus disc and includes the theatrical and extended edition of the film. Black Hawk Down. One that I've heard, again, is reference quality. Thankfully enough, come with a slip cover. The first movie that I actually picked up myself. There is the 4K disc. The Blu-ray and the bonus disc. I really like the artwork for the Blu-ray disc. I wish that was the 4K disc. It's really nice. So yeah, that is Black Hawk Down. Really, really looking forward to watching all these movies, especially in 4K. Next up, we have a film that I've been watch wanting to watch for a very long time. Uh, and this is from 1991 or 1992. Stars Ice Cube, Cuba Gooding Jr., Morris Chestnut, Nia Long, Angela Bassett and Larry Fishburne. Boys in the Hood. Um, I'm really, really, really looking forward to watching this film. It was one I've wanted. So yeah, that's Boys in the Hood. Oh, forgot to show you the discs. Um, guys, let me know in the comments below if you own any of these movies, like the um, iconic moments, um, or if you have seen any of these movies, let me know what you think about them in the comments below. Uh, but here's the discs. And that is actually the disc for the special edition of the film that comes with the gold and white slip cover. So really happy to have that. That is Boys in the Hood. Next up, we have a Martin Scorsese classic that didn't come with a slip cover, which I'm really annoyed about. Casino. Really, really happy to pick this up in the shop uh, on the website. Uh, this didn't have a slip cover. Uh, this had a slip cover, but wasn't in the 2 for 30. Got in the shop, didn't have a slip cover, but was in the 2 for 30. Couldn't complain. Um, there is the two discs, the 4K and the Blu-ray. Casino, really, really looking forward to watching that again. 
this will be the uh, next video, so I'll be recording this straight after I've recorded this video. Really, really happy to pick this up. Was gonna pick this up, uh, the regular 4K. I couldn't, I can't remember if it was on the 2 for 30 or not. Then I saw this for 28 pounds, and I've been wanting it for quite a while. It's the Deer Hunter 40th Anniversary 4K box set. Um, and as I say, after this video, uh, I won't be able to show you inside, but I will be recording a video straight after this that will be going up today. That's the unboxing for the 40th anniversary of the Deer Hunter box set on 4K. Next up, we have a Stanley Kubrick movie. I have two Stanley Kubrick movies here on 4K. I think you can tell what the other one is. Full Metal Jacket. I am so looking forward to watching this film. I cannot wait to watch this. I've never watched it before. Comes with a gorgeous slip cover. I was going to pick up the box set, but I thought, no, you know what, I'll just pick up the uh, the standard 4K. Very plain Jane discs, just black and blue. But oh, so over the moon to pick up Full Metal Jacket. I got in a bit of a blind, uh, blind, uh, blind panic when we was in the shop because I couldn't find the 4K. And, uh, and then Josh said, Josh said to me, here it is. And I was like, whew, panic over. Next up, another war movie. We have that stars Brad Pitt and it has an outstanding cast of Shia LaBeouf. And um, there's a couple of other people, I can't remember their names, but Fury. One I've had on Steelbook before. I sold the Steelbook because I got a good price for it. This was in the 3 for 30 with uh, Boys in the Hood and then another one that I'll show you. There are your discs for Fury. Really, really looking forward to watching this one again. I enjoyed it the first time round. Really now happy to watch it in glorious 4K. That is Fury. Next up, we have my second favourite Martin Scorsese movie. The Case is Broke. Uh, which, I don't know if you can hear. You can hear this moving about inside in there. This was on the 2 for 30. So, so happy to pick this up in 4K. Uh, I've heard the 4K doesn't look great, but I wanted to pick it up in 4K nonetheless. It's my second favourite Martin Scorsese movie, Goodfellas. I absolutely adore this movie. It is incredible. I only watched it for the first time a couple of months ago, and oh, it is so, so good. Um, I will show you the discs. Uh, there they are. The discs are exactly the same. One's 4K, one's Blu-ray. This is the one that's broke. As you can see there, the holder's broke. But uh, I'm amazed I was able to pick it up. That is good, fellas. Inglorious 4K. Next up, we have another war movie that was in the 2 for 30. Uh, that was directed by Mel Gibson and stars Andrew Garfield. Hacksaw Ridge. Really, really happy to pick this up. Never seen this movie before. Glad to have the 4K. Discs are exactly the same. Really nice artwork. Heard this is Andrew Garfield's best film. Directed by Mel Gibson. It's Hacksaw Ridge. I do apologise if I am going really quick. The second Christopher Nolan movie that I picked up today. Again, was in the Super 30. Interstellar. I've heard it's an amazing 4K, an amazing film. It's a film I've never seen before. And you get your 4K disc. You get a Blu-ray disc and then you get a bonus disc. That's Christopher Nolan's Interstellar on 4K. And I will mention as well that Film Flick and Ash are both doing videos as well. So uh, I will put those affiliate links in the description so you guys can go and watch their videos. I know Josh is uploading his now. I don't know about Ash. Kid's got a mind of his own. The next two 4Ks I picked up that uh, Josh was telling me to get for ages. And I finally got them. These were £30, so £15 each. Sicario 1 and 2 on 4K. If I can get them out of the box. <laughs> there will be Sicario 1 and 2 on 4K. They won't come out of the box, but yeah. Sicario 1 and 2 on 4K. Really, really happy to pick them up. 
The last thing that was in the 3 for 30. Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Sorry about that. There they are. Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Astounded to pick that up. I absolutely love the film. It's probably my third favourite Spider-Man movie. I know it's a lot of people's first, but I personally like love two movies above it. I love this 4K disc as well. That's a beautiful 4K disc. And then you get just as beautiful of a Blu-ray disc. That is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse on 4K. Only three 4Ks left, guys, and then I'll stop boring you. The second Stanley Kubrick movie that this wasn't on the 2 for 30, but it's one of my favourite movies of all time. My favourite horror slash thriller movie, The Shining. This does come in the extended edition. The premium collection came in the extended edition, but I wanted the 4K because I've heard the 4K is amazing. Black and blue disc, like uh, Full Metal Jacket on 4K. But yeah, that is Stanley Kubrick's the Shining. Then they have another Steven Spielberg movie, with, this time with uh, Tom Hanks, who also done Band of Brothers and the Pacific. This, this is good 4K, guys. Shaving Ryan's Private... Uh, I mean, Saving Private Ryan. Um, really, really happy to pick up this film. It comes with three discs. You get a blue 4K disc. And then you get Two white discs with the film and the special features. That is Shaving Ryan's Private. I mean, Saving Private Ryan. Um, and the last 4K. This was on the 2 for 30. This is the one that I can't open because the person left the tag in it. The Wizard of Oz. I, I love this film. It is so good. Um, and I can't wait to watch it on 4K. So... That is everything. That is everything I picked up today. 39 pickups in total. I went a bit overboard, but I was so happy to pick it up. Um, pick it all up. The next video, which I'll be recording right after this, will be the Deer Hunter 4K unboxing. That will also be going up today. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Thank you all so much for 200 subscribers. I will be doing a special thank you video for that tomorrow. But yeah, guys, please stay safe. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.